we start with the recent past, we have the tower card. Now, with the tower card, in your recent past, once again, this could have been, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that was about to end or did end. If you were in a relationship that you absolutely, positively did not want to see it end, this was an important time for damage control and for clear communications. You needed to find out how your partner was feeling or doing. You also did not make assumptions and you also found out for sure and for certain. This card is paired with the Nine of Cups. Now this is a very good card for your love life. So if you were already in a relationship, it's very possible that it deepened and became better and or, or sweeter. So if you were single, then was a great time to meet people. You got out, you mixed and mingled, you had conversations with people that you met without being wedded to any potential outcome. The ideal in the past was to basically have fun. Okay, so let's move on to your present. At the top, in the middle, we have the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups, this card represents true love, balanced partnership, commitment, and all of the things that are most, well, all of the things that most of us hope for in regards to love and relationships. However, this does not mean that you can just say or do whatever, that your love, you can't do or say whatever, and that your love relationship will last. It only means that the under Mining, it only means that undermining the relationship, solid potential for true love and affection is there. Okay, so if you are looking for love, this is a signal that it is very likely to be heading your way very soon. So relax. Okay, then this, this card is paired with the Six of Swords. Okay, in the context of love, the Six of Swords can can be picked the need for a change of scenery. If you are already in a relationship, take your beloved on a trip, even if it's down the street or for a picnic or something of the sort. If you're looking for love, this card points to a need to get out of your routines and your usual search if you want to meet someone new. So go ahead and explore. So basically, explore your possibilities, get out and look for love, don't stay indoors. And um, with the Two of Cups, this card was paired with, it's basically saying, relax that love is more than likely headed your way soon. Okay, so that was, that is in your present. Now, below that, we have two cards in the middle at the bottom. And this would be the challenge. And we start with the High Priestess. Okay, now the High Priestess is basically magical, mystical time for love for anyone who is interested in love. So if you are a woman you may well find people literally throwing themselves at you. The problem is that you will attract both good and bad. And it's not easy always to tell which is which. Okay? So, you have the power of femininity or masculine or vice versa. Okay? Uh, it's at your disposal. It's at your, excuse me. It's at your disposal. 
And at this moment in time, at first glance, that may seem great. Okay, now this card is paired with the, the magician. Okay, with the, with the magician, if you are in the market for new romance, this is a time when you're likely to meet someone new. Right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Okay, whether they find you or not will depend on you. So don't sit at home expecting Mr. and Mrs. Wright to walk up your garden path and knock on your door because that probably won't happen. You need to be out there making yourself available to be found and this is an excellent time to do just that. So get out there and meet people, okay? And with these two cards paired together, Get out there and meet people because now is a great time to find love and romance. And with the Magician card, it's, it's basically letting you know that the time of love is magical and mystical if you're interested. And you'll attract good and bad, but you, and you may not be able to tell which is which. So... Now is a good time. These are two very positive cards. And that's your challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. The cards to the very right. Starting with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so if you're already in a committed relationship, the Six of Pentacles point to a happy, generous, fair, and balanced relationship for at least a while. Allow your beloved to give to you whether it's in the material or spiritual realm, and at the same time, make sure that you are doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. So, therefore, if you are unattached but looking, when this card shows up, you are likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and generous. This may come out Come, I'm sorry, this may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. Make sure to let people know that you are looking for a partner. And this card is paired with the uh, Ten of Cups. If you are worrying about a romantic relationship and you receive this card, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. If you, I'm sorry, excuse me, and... Your beloved are on the same, you and your beloved are on the same page. So if you're in a relationship but have not made a formal commitment and hope that it comes to pass, take heart, it's coming. Don't sabotage things by causing problems where there aren't any. And that was the Two of Cups. I'm sorry, that was the Ten of Cups, and it was paired with the Six of Pentacles. So basically don't sabotage anything that's coming towards you because there won't be any problems with it. And uh, if you're in a committed or looking for a steady relationship with the Six of Pentacles, uh, it's now, now is a very good time. Allow your loved ones to give to you. And at the same time, make sure you are doing your fair share of giving. So it's a good time for give and take in a relationship. And love is, is great with these two cards. And that would be your outcome. Okay, Scorpios. I hope it's a great month for you. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.